For the first time since 2017, the most sacked quarterback in the NFL will face the defense with the most sacks entering that matchup. Welcome in to Film Room presented by Hyper Ice with Isaiah Stanback. I'm Kyle Yeomans. That matchup will be Carson Wentz, the quarterback versus the Dallas defense. Wentz has been sacked 15 times so far through three games this season. The Dallas defense has 13 sacks and they're going to try and get after him again this week. And they very well should, Kyle, because <laughs> simply because these guys up front are not very good. Washington Commanders are struggling. Carson Wentz is hot. He's cold. But even if he was hot, he doesn't have time to sit back there and throw it. They gave up nine sacks last week against the Philadelphia Eagles. And Dallas wants to, of course, one up that. So let's go ahead and show you guys what that looked like as of last week. So I want you guys to have your attention right here on Big Sweat as he goes out here and simply just embarrasses this left tackle of the Commanders. You see him cut off the ball right here. Boom, he's going to get those hands inside and then he's going to grab Grab him and rip through and throw him out the club. And now he's coming over here and he's coming to get some, some wince under his belt. Right there, that's sack number one. Boom, let's go ahead and go to the next play. So that was a left tackle. Now I want you guys to pay attention right here. Fletcher Cox, he's kind of a dude. He's been around for a while. He's going to go ahead and disrespect his left guard, right, or sorry, his right guard of the Washington Commanders. You see he has his hands out of place. They're up top. Fletcher Cox feels that. He's going to go ahead and run through that. Get out, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Give me some of that Carson Wentz. That was his turn. So that's two sacks of the first three sacks. Now here goes a third offensive lineman where I want you guys to take your eyes now over here to the right guard. So sorry, to the left guard position. Let's go ahead and play it through. He's going to come off the ball now. Boom. Barrel snap. Run straight through him. You got bad hand placement. I'm going to run through your chest. I'm going to toss you out like some old school garbage. And I'm going to go ahead and give me a sack as well. These guys gave up three straight sacks by three different offensive line positions. This is not just a, oh, this guy's young. No, this is a holistic problem for these guys, and the Dallas Cowboys should be licking their chops. So how does pad level and, and hand placement play into that for an offensive lineman? Because it looks like it's bag net technique across the board for Washington. Yeah, and unfortunately, but fortunate for Dallas, these guys are playing <laughs> with bad pad level and low man wins in football. That's what we do know, especially when you have guys like we have um, at our personnel groups. You're talking about Micah Parsons, you're talking about D-Law, Armstrong, Fowler. These guys play with low pad level, powerful speed guys that can run up and under, or if they need to, they can dip and rip. And they've got both ways. They can win with speed and they can win with power. How do they do that here? Well, here goes a good combination right here. Here goes the D-Law of old, okay? Everybody's been looking at, <laughs> everybody's been talking about Micah Parsons, but you can't forget about D-Law. He came out and had three sacks last week against the rookie Neal. Here he is right here. Bam, look at that. Run it back for me one more time. I want you guys to see with the right hand of Neal. Watch the right hand of Neil. This is not just by chance. This is technique. Right hand comes over the top. He's going to dip and rip, knock that hand down. He's going to swim through, and he's going to rip through nice and tight, and now he has the edge. There's nothing that can stop them from getting that sack. Great job by D-Law. He has been working that craft, and he took full advantage of that rookie. And, of course, with the rookie being there, that was a – lesson for him but here's a lesson against Micah Parsons Ooh. because how do you slow him down you really don't right you really can and the thing is this is a this is a committee uh committee approach right here and I want you guys to see we have Micah Parsons right here we have D law okay we have Dante Fowler and then we have Armstrong this is Dan Quinn's favorite package this is his rush package and what you're seeing right here is this offensive line is trying to max protect look at all these blockers in here plus you have a running back here it doesn't matter okay because so right here you got Micah Parsons Micah Parsons has his eye on one person and that is Danny Dimes Jones right here. And he's going to go straight through. It doesn't matter that this tight end is trying to double or triple team him. You know why? Because he's going to straight run through him like hot dog water. He's coming right there. <laughs> he wants to get to Danny Dimes. He doesn't get the sack, but look at the one of the, what, 20 plus pressures that they had last week. He forces bad passes. He's going to create a lot of opportunities for Carson Wentz to throw us some INTs, just like we saw Diggs get at the end of the game last week. If we could back this up to where right at the start of the line, or start of the contact there from Parsons, right there, mm -hmm. it looked like initially this right guard is looking down at Demarcus Lawrence. Yep. How does Micah Parsons coming off the edge like that just muddy everything up? Because it didn't even look like he saw him. No. So running back right to the beginning again. Okay, so right now what's supposed to happen is Micah Parsons is supposed to go in between the tight end and the outside of this tackle. And what you're supposed to get is this tight end helping, this lineman helping, but no, no, no. There's a guy by the name of D-Law who has his eyes on this guard right here, and he's supposed to, he takes his eyes off of him. So what ends up happening is Micah Parsons doesn't, doesn't do what he wants them to do. He crosses the face of the tackle. So now what happens? Now you have one, two, 
three guys getting their hand on Micah Parsons. If D-Law chose to, D-Law could have got on uh, in fuego right here <laughs> and decided to hit this hole. He does not because you see the eyes of this guy. I don't know what you're looking at, young man. But either way, Micah Parsons says, don't worry, D-Law, I'll give you the playoff. I'll run through all three of these guys and go ahead and get some pressure on Danny Dimes. Just co confusion, convolution, it doesn't really matter. Dan Quinn's defense has provided 13 sacks on the season for a reason. A lot of those from Micah Parsons, a lot of those from Demarcus Lawrence, but a cast of characters that have been really effective in the passing game or pass rush game yep. rather for the Cowboys. They'll look to do that again this week in week four against the Washington Commanders. For Isaiah Stanback, I'm Kyle Yeomans. That does it for Film Room presented by Hyperice.